Yeah. Okay, I need to I need to turn off this music. It's driving me insane. We're about to sit through it for another half hour minimum anyway. I don't know why I choose to hurt myself like this. Okay. But would you want a statue of Sephiroth impaling Aerith? Do you think that's tasteful? No. No, I don't. I don't even like FF7, and I think that's tasteless. You don't like FF7, the best Final Fantasy of all time, according to people? I don't really like Final Fantasy. You don't like Final Fantasy, the best JRPG franchise, according to people who don't like Dragon Quest? No, I don't. Damn. Hot take. Okay, see, that I'd be down for, Tyrion. Oh yeah, because Mario is a representation of consumerism. Yeah, but it's also like irreverent in a way that's amusing instead of weird and tasteless. Yes! Okay, let me see if I remember this. We have to do stuff. Oh, collecting. right! Okay. And I have provided you with a map that you just have to scroll up to get. That man don't look so good. I forgot about this music. I I didn't because I had it playing for like ten minutes before the stream. This is like the music you hear, um, like watching a Disney produced documentary of an Epcot. Yeah. Well, a statue of Dante getting impelled by his own sword from DMC. Well, no, because Nero is better and Virgil is better. And I have to be reminded of Dante's voice actor. Oh, what'd he do? Ah, he's just like a shit. Yeah, that scans. He's not like... I don't know if he what he if he said anything super hey, weird. He's just like a massive shit. I I get this fit once in a while. Hey, y'all remember this guy? Uh, it's going, Kshizzle. I woke up late because I accidentally slept sick. in because I set my alarm wrong. Vice manager Roland <coughs> got a key. Hey, Kshizzle. Where's your medicine? I know I wasn't asked how it was going, but I will still respond. Doxin. It's fine. I appreciate Is you responding. That the name of your pills? Uh, at the pharmacy stand. It's fine. It's okay. I'm on the. Uh, I'm the support host here. I got 42 minutes to get Devlin his medicine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot how like low key his. Yeah, is. Oh fuck, I realized I made a mistake. You made a mistake? I sure did. Uh, cause yeah. we gotta go do something dumb while we're still on a timer. What a mistake at Jamaica. I really boned it. Damn. Oh, well, it's all blood. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember it either, but here we are. I do remember this though. Yeah, the coins, yeah. I, I love the coin pinatas. I think that's how most video game scoring should be, just pinata the coins out of them. God, the music in this game just sucks so much. Hey, Jake Monroe. Private Eye. No, never give in to the wants of Big Hassie. Right. Pyrrhus 84. Yeah, hey, Tyrus. <laughs> so anyway, I see you're playing another King's Quest. 
Uh, I finished it. Ah, do you have fun? No. It is the worst of the adventure games. The emergency shutter is now activated. Okay. Have you ever heard of Star Quest? Of you I have. Like I got linked it. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Um. The number of the shutter you entered is not valid. Oh, right. The emergency shutter is now activated. Please okay, enter the okay. number of a shutter you would like to deactivate. Uh, oh, oh, five, oh, I think is one of them. Shutter number zero, zero, five, uh, zero oh, is now deactivated. Zero, zero, fifty and zero, zero, the emergency 30, shutter is ones. now activated. Please enter the number of a shutter you would like to deactivate. Uh, not as far as I know, K Shizzle. This one didn't escape the Dreamcast. I like shutter how you're phrasing zero, that. Like zero, escape. Three, zero, is it now didn't break containment. It is contained on the Dreamcast, put in a lead box in a massive crate where top men are protecting it. Up until we get to the fourth game. Played the fourth game. Indiana Jones and the, the Crystal Skull. Oh. oh, I've never actually seen that Indiana Jones. I quite like it personally. I think it's fun. It's not like great or anything, but it's fun, pulpy garbage, but Yeah. I I haven't seen it because back when it was new, all my friends told me not to watch it and it was terrible because Indiana Jones hides in the fridge and it's so fucking stupid. Okay, but I think the fridge thing's funny. I think that was the thing that was referenced the most as why this movie sucks. I'm like, okay, so I just never watched it. I, I think the hate's super overblown, personally. Is it, like, as good as, say, 1 in 3? No, but it's still better than Temple of Doom, and it's horrible levels of racism. I would be hard pressed to find. Like I, I think like the, the Indiana Jones three is not only like the best in the franchise or the trilogy. I think obviously can't copy the Crystal Skull the latest one. But that movie is just in general extremely good. Like even if you're going like a top list of but uh, top one hundred movies, it would definitely be there. I tend to like Raiders a little bit more. But I do yeah. think, uh, fucking, I forget the name of the third movie. My brain's still booting up. Well, the, the third movie is The Raiders of the Lost Ark. No, that's the first one. Uh, sorry, The Last Crusade. The Last Crusade. Yeah, Last Crusade. I do think Last yeah. Crusade's very good, though. Yeah, I like Last Crusade more. I don't know what popular opinion is. Popular opinion is probably the opposite of the case. Nah, I, I, I don't know what the fuck popular opinion is of it either, so don't worry. Chad, do you know what's popular? Can you educate us? Us two uncool streamers slash VTubers. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, Tyrion. Like, Indiana Jones has always been goofy and unrealistic. It's just... Fucking... What is it? Uh, 4 doesn't try to try to hide it, and it kind of leans into it. Arguably a little too much, but... I think it, it was... It was one of the first... Not first, but it was like an, an example for our generation, at least, where people watched something as kids, aka your, the original trilogy. And then they grew up a little bit, and then 4 came out much later, and they were like, Wow, I remember the previous movies being this bad, this movie sucks. Yeah, no, as as I said, uh... The only one I would really argue is bad... Well, I haven't seen the latest one, but I've heard it's garbage. Uh, yeah. but... The only one that I have seen that I would argue is truly bad... Is Temple of Doom. Because it is very racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is Temple of Doom racist? 
I don't remember the last. I think Temple of Doom is I've only ever seen once, and the only two scenes I remember are the Kalima scene and when they serve the lady uh, monkey, monkey brain, and she yeah, and she like like falls unconscious. Yeah, but it's important to note they're supposed to be in India. Hmm. So the entire setup is a very racist depiction of India. What were they thinking? Yeah, I, I never got the opportunity to see it. Uh, give me a sec. Hey, the leader. Okay. Sorry. Well, welcome. I, I, it, Don't apologize. I gotta Never apologize to the audience. True, Never apologizing, apologize. showing weakness. Exactly. Yeah. Chat me some other place. Only through strength will you gain authority. Through strength unity. Exactly. Shia LaBeouf, I haven't killed fucking like what? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf is Indiana Jones' son in the uh, the fourth film. Cause like okay. they were originally gonna have him replace Indy. Hmm. And then I'm assuming Shia LaBeouf did something unsavory and people like dropped him. Like, uh, I mean. Yes, but also, he was one of the things that people hated the most about that film. Oh, okay. People didn't like the character? Yeah, that was kind of the bigger thing. Oh no, was he a poochie? No, he was just a, a fucking... a punk. Like, he was just kind of an asshole in the film, initially. Because, like, that was the whole point. Is his dad fucking abandoned him, and he had to warm up to him? Hmm. I think it would've been funny if they just had, like... Sort of like a mirror image of the third movie, you know, between, like... Sean Connery and Indy. And now then have Indy and his son, like, like be the same where, like, the roles are reversed for Indy, and he's, like, still frustrated. Nah, he was, he was just a deadbeat dad. Yeah, married in the. Oh God, he, he divorced her. God damn it! Because yeah, like a big thing <clears throat> about four was him, uh, meeting up with the love interest from the first film and them getting back together, and it was kind of a whole big thing. Because apparently she also had a son that Indy didn't know about. Hmm. And it was Indy's kid. It's a whole thing. It's it's all very... I would say dumb, but... Do you know where the other stamps are? I do. It's just getting there. That's fucking me up. Okay, that's the gun shop. Later, pal. Also, shoutouts to. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just a weapon you have, okay. Yeah, casual um, war crimes. Shoutouts to. Every time you start walking, the fairy flying in, and then just for like two frames, you see the camera like have a zoom in of her feet. I don't see the problem. Good stream content. 
Oh my god. Damn, that, that fucked you up. That's a dick. Yeah. Yeah! Is the stamp rally thing really not in here? Yup, it's it's great K Shizzle. Hey Beast Hunter. Zero one three five. Yeah, it's it's going Beast Hunter. You might wanna heal. I might wanna heal. We don't wanna repeat the last stream. Mmm large hassy. What fucking savage is the rooms that are residing in that can? They should have made it so that you can save the empty cans and then you recycle them and you get more points. Like you put them in those little like can pressing machines. No, what we what we need is for us to have a kick the can minigame, you see. And every time you successfully get it in the trash, he he gets lighter. But if if you get it, if you don't, and you instead attack, uh, throw it into the, the nearby shop, he, he gets darker, so you can she see the progression of his his karma. Mega Man Legends is very dumb. I'm about to say this is Mega Man Legends reference. I can't check my stamp rally. You have two stamps. You have the two upper ones. God, I hate this place. What are you doing? Did you go to Rat's place? Fuck off! I'm looking for Taco Pen. Okay. I guess she doesn't understand jokes. I love these kind of chicks. Right, he sucks. Yeah. Congratulations! I'm Taco Pen oh, Thanks for getting Okay, me. so I missed one. Oh my god, Ish, there is so much porn. Shout out to OG Resident Evil for having the inhuman restraint to put a male and female character in the same game and not make them love interests. Yeah, Just except like, they kind of shit on that in later games, sort of, but... What? No, Chris and John were together. There's partners. Uh, okay, let's see. Stamp Rally... We, we want... Pen Pen Book. He's Pen Pen Buck and he's here to party. I don't think Chris or Jill have ever gotten what Emmy won. Chris got what a bottle. Yeah. Nice. Jill had a Jill had a boyfriend, but I think he died in Raccoon City, like most people. Oh, uh, that was Claire. No, Jill had a Jill has a boyfriend. Oh. Like, she has one at some point during her tenure in Raccoon City. The answer, yeah, the, the secret is it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's fine, Joel will end up hating everybody in Raccoon City anyway. Yeah, she was weirdly angry towards it in, in 3. I don't blame her. I don't either, but also... It, it, she was very hostile. If I had to go through the shit I went through, the shit she went through in the fucking mansion, and then came back and told people 
by a way there are like fucked up bio experiments and undead here and everybody was like nah nah dog you're, you're crazy umbrella would never do that i also be fucking pissed when umbrella does that again yeah but you I'm see umbrella is a job creator oh yes creating jobs for fucking mercenaries to collect combat data combat data God, I love combat data. A weird obsession with combat data. I don't think they even use the combat data. The combat I think they just data. like get in a spread. They just get in a spreadsheet, and they're like, "Okay, cool. Well, how do we interpret this data? Uh, I don't know. Give the thing more applause. What if it spit acid too? Hell yeah, that kicks ass. Do it. No, it's not in here. Where the fuck is it? If only we the puzzle could help us here. Find I need to find Pen time. Pen Book. He's here to party. Sorry, I'm just always reminded of a TV edit. Uh, Wang showed us of... Uh, Kill Bill a while back. Yeah. Where where in, instead of saying my name is Buck and I'm here to fuck, they edited it so he he goes my name is Buck and I'm here to party. He's like the editing is really bad. Imagine a fucking TV version of. Kill Bill of all things. What would you even call it? Incapacitate Bill? No, no, the kill part's fine. Oh, okay, killing is fine, but fucking isn't. Mm hmm. Right, we, we have our entire porn section here. I forgot about the AV corner. Oh, oh, you got a yeah, you and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year! Oh, I just noticed that you call the stream supermarket sweep. That's funny. Mm hmm. Chat, it's funny because we're in a supermarket and supermarket sweep is an actual thing. It is a show that we tried to watch as a group and it made us deeply uncomfortable. Yeah, I was there. We watched like two episodes and I was just like, wait, this is, this is the cult show supermarket sweep? This is it? It wasn't even just that, it just, it felt gross to watch. Because it's like this this weird hyper-distillation of America's weird obsession with consumerism and capitalism. Congratulations! You have completed the stamp rally! Please take the elevator to the second floor. Let's join the special discount! Also, it was great learning that the dude who hosted it ended up becoming a libertarian fucking candidate in his home state. Nice. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Fuck. Nice. Oh, it's a little damage. That thing does a lot of damage. It sure did. That's the thing that killed you last time, right? I think so. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this. But no, Torpid, now it resets health value. Don't care! I ain't dying for this shit! Yo, bro, you got any hassy? No, but you got a stun rock. <gasps> hassy! Hmm. Luckily, I have just enough money for that dachshund. It's what happens at a sailor bar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This floor is fucking huge.
Like, I could grind out money for this shit, but, like, why would I do that? Wait, 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 wait. You gotta buy the hot dog. Sorry, the hamburger. All Yo, this iron is so fist? expensive. Wait, what's the iron fist? Also, is that Le sorry? Is that Lennon on the wrestling T-shirt? No. No, just oh, uh, it just looked like him for a second. What the fuck is this? Iron fist looked like uh, like an anime ass anime weapon. Yeah, it is also like prohibitively expensive. Yeah, just like real life. We tried buying Iron Fist in real life. Oh, shit fucking sucks. No, I, I haven't because I've never seen them in real life personally. I mean, neither have I because I can't afford them. God, fuck it. This menu's terrible. Dog's battle is saving us. This thing better drop the best fucking weapon or item in the game. I I'm kind of banking on it giving a lot of money. Loads of money. Loads of money. Speaking of supermarkets and stores, are you going to be checking out the new Dead Rising? Nah. Oh, the I'll, Rising. I'll see what other people say first. Getting a lot of remakes back to back. Dead Rising remastered and Silent Hill 2 remake. Yes. It's a good year to be a retro horror fan, I think. I'm still sh sad that the uh, the place that did the uh, the remake of Alone in the Dark got shut down because that was actually pretty all right. It just didn't meet very unrealistic sales goals. Yep. That really sucks. Yeah, I heard people say it was not um, good. It was pretty rad. A lot of pro no problems I feel came from the Vancouver story that made Are you oh. shitting me? Wow. I will say, I think uh, the main character from 2, uh, Chuck, got way too much hate. I actually like Chuck. Love to crack open a hassy with the boys. Frank was a weirdo who thought he was cool but was just awkward. I remember the discourse where people were like, oh, Chuck is lame. Frank West was much cooler. So even if you're right, is she in like retrospective? At the time, people did not think that Chuck was actually cool until he was he, like. He wasn't the he weird has no person man who is wider than he is tall. That is Frank West. And he also has no personality because he doesn't talk all the time. His personality is "I love my daughter," which. He's, yeah, which gamers can't comprehend. I, I mean, I'd argue it's a little overwrought, but like at that point, it wasn't. No, no, you didn't have the sad dad trope back then. I think that was one of the first games with sad dads because I remember looking it up specifically, trying to figure out what was like the early game of that trend, and I think it was Dead Rising Two that was the earliest. It was like Dead Rising Two and then Near. Yeah. Uh. 
Also, a very petty thing. I was actually kind of pissed that they uh, made uh, Chuck go crazy in off the record. I thought it was kind of shitty for his character. Yeah, it. Well, because, like, off the record is supposed to be a what if, and the what if is his daughter died, but, like, it's also kind of ridiculously over the top. Yeah, I didn't like it. I will say this, though, uh, I'm glad they fixed one of the characters for the remake, because he was a terrible <laughs> stereotype. Oh, right, I need to give him his dachshund. I wonder if they're going to change the term uh, from psychopath. Oh, fuck. Did you load without buying it? I sure did! Oh, that was wrong bag. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they out the butcher. He's just some weird random white guy now, which is a massive improvement. I don't gotta fucking lick my way there. Okay. Apparently, I do own the original Dead Rising. I just haven't played it, which is weird because I thought I did. But I guess I'll just remember our playthrough. Yeah, I I still kind of sad that my co-op playthrough with Wang fell through because the game was just very it, it, like we were having weird connection problems that you and I never had. Yeah, the box is in the healing. One. Yeah, I know. I I'm, I'm trying to buy something. I just don't remember which one it's in. Also, I think look, you're opening the red one. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, no, 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 I want the red one. It's just the game is harder to control when you're injured. Mm, hot dog. I, I did this one for you. Thank you. I want to see also how needlessly long the animation is. That's not how you eat, eat a hot dog, you fucking maroon. Okay, that, that animation is instantly worse than the Hassie one because it takes way longer. Also, it's, it's no, no reasonable person will eat a hot dog like that. Did he just throw like 90% of the hot dog? He basically squeezed out the meat and was like, hmm. What a good hot dog and threw out everything else. Yeah, it, the hot dog is the sum of its parts, mister. Like, how dare you? Otherwise, you're just eating a tube of processed meat. Which, you know, valid, but also that's not a hot dog. It's just a sausage at that point. It's a terrible sausage, too. It's a wiener. You're That's a not wiener. even the patriotic one. Here, I got your dachshund. Th thanks, you saved my life. Here, use this. Dick. There we go. And now you can save. I. Oh. Thank you. This music is incredible at setting a mood of just, like, draining the brain out of your fucking skull. Like, it's, it's kind of impressive how effective it is at that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do agree. I do appreciate at least how bright and colorful everything is. I guess. Really sets really the horror vibe. Wait, 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 what's the last time you streamed, like, a first person shooter? Uh, it's been a hot minute. Maybe we should do that after this game. Maybe.
Sorry, I'm just in a first person shooter mode because I've been playing yeah. some on stream and having fun. You know when you play a game and you have fun and you're like, man, I could have been doing this this entire time instead of playing terrible games. Yeah, unfortunately I finished that game on Monday. Shadow Tower Abyss is very fun and it feels surprisingly good. Now you have to punish yourself to go back to Equilibrium. Nah, I was I was gonna do Dark Souls 2 next, probably. Yo, Dark Souls 2, let's go. Dark Souls 2 hype. Yeah, I, I like to. It is by no means perfect, but it is experimental in a way that Dark Souls 3 was too afraid to be. Also, it, it got very good vibes. Like, I, I, I like the fucking really bleak tone to it. Uh, in a way that, like, Dark Souls 3 never was, because Dark Souls 3 was too busy trying to remind you of Dark Souls 1 and how great that was. But was never as good. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. I think my big issue with 2 is the level design is much weaker than 1. In terms of not just, like, layout, but also... Like, I never have a proper mental map of two, like what connects to what, what, because it's so disjointed. Um, yeah. but in one, yeah. I can kind of remember what it was for yeah. as well as with three. Yeah, well, it's because one feels fine. I, I think I the level design there. in three is... It, hmm? What's up? I think you had more ammo in the storage. Oh. Uh. I guess I'll some little red boxes next to a shotgun. I'll, I'll check again. I think the level design in 3 is bad, personally, because it... Once again, it is a game that is so intent on reminding you of Dark Souls with 1 without being nearly as good. And it's too afraid to have its own identity, I'd argue. To the point where it just copy-pastes fucking Anne Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. Three is the most linear of them all, I agree with that. Yep. I really like the mechanics in two. I think the comet felt really good. Yeah, I thought the comet felt fine. Uh I, I thought the vibes were very good, as I said before. Like it was very bleak too, in a way that one wasn't quite as much. Wait, does two not have a poison swarm? Uh no it does. The 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 place before the earthen peak. It's it's all I poison it has... gas, not poison swamp. Okay, is there I the only area I remember from that game that gives me like the shivers uh is the massive fucking lake ruins area. Also, one of the DLCs has a lot of... Also has a lot of poison, but no real poison swamp. Yes! Oh. Um, the DLC has... The only area... Cause so, so there's a few areas I didn't play. There was one area in the DLC where, like, you teleport into it, and it's just like, you can barely see anything from the snow, and then a bunch of deer come out and fuck you up. Mm -hmm. And I only went there once and just went... You know what, I'm good, I'm just not gonna explore this area. Not today, Satan! I think that was the I think... You might have been co-commentating then, and I asked you, is this mandatory or optional? And you said optional, and I immediately left and never came back. Yep. Uh, it- it is a place that sucks. It is a place that sucks very bad. That said, I wasn't making things easier on myself because I was playing a fist only run. I mean, fist build was super viable in that game. It was, but I was like playing fist only to a fault where um, I would literally not use like ranged weapons. So if there was like a dragon or something, I'd just stand there and wait and be like, okay, eventually you're gonna come down. They're gonna fuck you up. I remember the, the reward being fine, but the problem is it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, 
Uh, it also has the, the fight lovingly called Two Cat at the end of it. Can you guess why it's called Two Cat? As two of the cats from the previous area of the DLC. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. No, I would want that. Um, I also did a first run of Dark Souls 3, and that was like an emotional roller coaster. Uh, because doing fist only in Dark Souls 3 is either a boss is nice. Either a boss is super fucking trivial. Like the Pontiff, you could just chump him with a fist build, which is hilarious. Or like something that's usually trivial is the most insanely difficult shit, like the fucking old demon the lava area like that with fist is impossible because the collision is fucked up mm -hmm. it's super fuck who the fuck are oh. you okay you saved my life you guys are rescuers how, how many are saved is deblin alive chill one question at a time okay first of all we are not rescuers i mean i am I i'm as lost as you are and i have no idea how many survived I think Bloodborne's very good. Freezer warehouse. Who are you? I think Sekiro's not Dog though. Bauer, captain of the SS Deanna. We're no time for explanation. If you want to live, give me the card key. It's in a safe on my desk. This is a key to the safe. Wait here. I'll be back right away. I had fun listening to I, I think what was like a cumulative uh seven hour video essay on oh, no. Dark Souls and its sequels. Oh no. That was fun. Why why oh no? That that's that sounds like a like a lot of potentially questionable takes. I I okay, so the the person is uh Noel uh, Noah Caldwell Gervais. They do a Oh that for, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know who that is. I haven't seen a Dark Souls video. I don't necessarily agree with all their takes, but I appreciate them and understand the, the perspective they come from. Yeah, every time I uh, watch their videos, I would go like, you know, that's a fair opinion to have, and they completely disagree with you. Yeah, no, that's no. it's exactly how I feel about their opinion on Sekiro. Because um, I felt that way uh, with their Max Payne video. I don't agree with almost anything in their Max Payne essay, but also they are they are presenting their opinions in a non uh, shitty way. Like they're like putting in reasonable arguments. And I'm like, you know what, that's fair. Also I completely disagree. Yeah. But like that's kind of why I enjoy enjoy their stuff. Wait, what? Wait, what? Do you need a work schedule? Like, I, I appreciate the way they present it, and I think it is interesting to hear their opinions on these things. Uh, Archfile, I don't know which, um, uh, which video you're there referencing. There should be some also. weapons left in the first well. warehouse. Yeah, I, I don't watch CV. Also, I don't... The, the Bloodborne Sector Dark Souls 3 thing. I'm fine with Dark Souls 3. Uh, I think Bloodborne is probably the best Souls like um, that From Software has made, and I think Sekiro is uh, either a bad Souls like or a bad character action game. Take your pick. See, because the the thing is, they they come at this stuff typically from like a narrative perspective, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why they like Sekiro because they like Wolf as a character and his character art. <laughs> Well, maybe his character arc would should have been uh, to actually have a good combat. Yeah. This is like my scalding hot take. As somebody who has played a bunch of character action games, uh, I don't think Sekiro feels like a good character action game. And I thought, oh, maybe I'm being like stupid. Maybe like this game um, is actually good, and I'm misremembering old games. And then I re and I played through Ninja Gaiden Black, and I was like, no, actually, Sekiro is kind of trash. It comes to combat. Uh, my feelings on Sekiro is the basic gameplay loop is bad because the game is needlessly punishing with everything it does. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I shouldn't lose almost my entire health bar from one single fucking overhead. It is, it is a game with a needlessly high skill floor. Yeah. No, I, I don't have a high offense of Sekiro. I always, when we talk about Sekiro, I always just end up in the Sekiro round. Uh, I have beaten that game. I have done the true ending, the true final boss. I have paid my toll. My opinion is that it's not good. Okay, well. And I'm in the vast minority because that game sold gangbusters and reviewed gangbusters, so it doesn't matter what I think. Yeah, no, I, I just, I didn't think it was good. Oh. It is, we'll call it a stunning low point. Wait, I need to, I need to just double check the stunning low point. I like how the last time I played it, it was uh, on April 1st. My problem is I'm uh, not... Hmm? Yeah, 210,000 reviews overwhelmingly positive. I think we're in the minority. Hey, Soul's Brain Rot is real, and I will fucking die on this hill. Okay, so Archfile, I'm firmly of the stance that it's even bad at making you play a Dex character. Because... Dark Souls, the series, and I'm including Elden Ring, not necessarily Bloodborne, gives you methods for mitigating the speed of it. In that you, you have options for, like, how you play the games. You don't need to just play a high-speed build where you die in a fucking hit because you're made of paper. You can bump up your fucking health. You can use a bunch of defensive shit. There's ways around it. Player choice is, is paramount in those sorts of games. Not with Sekiro. And Sekiro is also very mean and punishing in Hello Senen. Hello. I, I would also argue it's bad at letting you play a Dex character because your damage is dog shit. And I'm including the posture mechanic, which feels great when you play really well, but you're also not usually playing well. Uh, I'm doing fine, Senon. I woke up late, and I'm also very fucking confused as to where the fuck I need to go. But otherwise, I'm fine. I wonder if you not go need knowing where to go is why we're talking about Sekiro, or us talking about Sekiro is why we don't know where to go. I don't know where this fucking piece of shit garbage goddamn safe is. It's a good life lesson, Beast Hunter. Especially not in this economy. I'm happy. Uh, I think some I think some of the bet parry windows in Bloodborne were very questionable. Yeah, I agree, but you were also fast enough to not necessarily need to parry at all. There should be some weapons left in the first warehouse. Oh, this is the safe. That is not very obvious. I found the freezer key. Okay, you got a key to get a key. Got it. Uh, that's a lot of what we've been doing, actually. I love uh, get a, use a key to get a key. I, I think something that's... It sounds so simple when you say it. But I think a lot of these, um, like, key-gated games really need to do something like, you get a key, and the key gives you two things. It doesn't give you one thing. Uh, yeah, like, my... usually it's like, okay, I used the key, okay, I got one key. Well, no, give me a key and, like, and make a key go into two keys. Yeah. And then one of them goes into a dead end, and the other continues progress. Or you get some sort of reward along the way. It's not just very... See, my issue is it just does it very nakedly. Yeah. Okay, that's not it, apparently. Where the fuck's the freezer? Dude, I want to go back home! Okay, thank you for sharing that. Same. Tragically, I'm already there. Yeah, when we were doing, uh, when I worked with him in object games, which for those who don't know are basically first-person point-and-click adventure games, 
uh, we were told, like, oh, you can't just, like, have a key and that opens, like, a save, and then inside there's just another key. You need to give a player, you know, two, maybe three items that they do something with. Yeah, as I said, it is it is very naked in the way it does it, and that's what I don't appreciate. Gotcha! This is why I'm a gamer. Don't tell us anybody else. I, I, I have already made enough design choices that people are like... Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> Internet nerds like, are going. Wow, you're, you're a game dev. You're so smart. I do a game dev thing. Wow, Envy is one of the worst game designers of all time. I love the Sinister. Yeah, it doesn't help that you are a very forward-facing part of that, so people just fucking dogpile you. It's fine. Uh, I have another forward-facing colleague who takes at least 60% of the aggro, so it's not all me. Hell it's yeah. Bad. It's good to have an off-tank. Exactly. Okay, buddy, I'm coming for you. Right, dogs doesn't have a proper weapon map to the, the X button or wherever I have mapped to the X button. I don't remember the actual buttons I have mapped for the fucking Dreamcast controller because fuck you, you're not my dad. Man, I really sound like I am firing on all cylinders today. Which, to be fair, it's been an hour and like 15 minutes since I woke up, so I'm still waking up. Can't wake up. Where the fuck is the freezer? Do you want me to look up the maps for you? Or a guide, I'm fine with whatever. So, I remember looking at this guy last time, and to be honest, the way they describe directions is, is makes it possible. Yep, it's terrible. I got it. Oh, there's like a door that requires. Oh, okay. So that laser door that you were like, how does this open? It has a green thing. Uh, you need three thousand dollars to enter. Oh my fucking god. And I could grind out the money, it's not hard, it's just annoying. Money is cheap in this game, but also... I do think the idea of grinding in a survival horror game is super fucked. Uh huh. So if you get 3,000, let me see if you get anything useful. Oh, it's like a shop. With discount items. Oh, that's fuck. Okay, so you, if you do that, oh, you're using cheat codes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is this is the one thing I'm willing to uh, concede on. So I was gonna say, um, the only thing that that opens is five more. Uh, like vending machines, which then require even more money for you to buy shit in it, so I won't bother. I'm trying to figure out where the freezer is, because I have... I think it's outside. Yeah, I was about to say, it's in Lab Town? Yeah, you need to go out to Lab Town. But no, I, I think my problem here is just... The, the, the idea of grinding out money in a fucking survival horror game is so against 
anything that should be going on in it that I'm willing to cheat in the money. So you never, uh, you never grinded in Parasite Eve? No. Also, Parasite Eve isn't what I would describe as survival horror, but at that point you're splitting hairs. Saying my save is corrupt because I ha I did it without cheats on. I can't believe That's save. very funny. Loads of money. I wonder if we're gonna have the loads of money line in Killing Floor 3. If only. There should be some weapons left in the first warehouse. Okay, yeah, we got So the if you go to the market on the. Yeah, if we go to the market on the second floor, you can just spend the money to buy shit. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I had the freezer key first. Because I wasn't 100% sure of when I made the safe state. My point is, like, ultimately, survival in this is trivial. If I die, it's because I'm getting greedy as hell. And that is the real horror. How dare you call it that thing? It has a name and it's blue. What the fuck? Well, I'm buying the pasta plate. Disgusting. But it's okay, it's Italian yeah. dish. There there's nothing Italian about that. There's steak dish and then there's sushi dish. I don't I wouldn't trust supermarket sushi. Depends. If I was in the US, I agree. I would not trust supermarket sushi. I'm in the US, so Yeah. In Sweden it's okay. In Japan it's it's absolutely fine. Anyway, that was the door that you would Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Japan and Sweden have food standards. Yeah. It's why, like, here, I don't mind going in a hole in a wall place, same as with when I went to Japan. If you could just go anywhere and not necessarily worry about food poisoning, whereas in the US, you have to veto that shit. You can't just go to any random place and grab food. Hot dog! Okay, but what about a boy go? Two, three. Also, I'm I'm fine with buying a bunch of these because like the animations are so long that you're gonna get fucking whacked during them, during them if you don't play your cards right. And the cash sensor checks your cash. This is super fucked. I want to add. No, no, see, this is the high roller supermarket. I love that it's the high roller supermarket, but you don't, you have to buy from vending machines. Wait, 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 go back to the air gun. Why is the ray gun sold out? I'm guessing it's a new game plus thing. Also, it is expensive. Also, I'm gonna be okay. honest, like, all of the times I've gotten food poisoning were at chain restaurants. Also, I don't respect this game enough to grind in it. That's the other big thing. Well, which game do you respect enough to grind in? That's a good question. I don't have a good answer. I 
it was playing Diablo, you know? Yeah. I enjoy Diablo games. I enjoy the gameplay loop. Do you uh, do you respect uh, the East games enough? The what games? East, wise. Yeah, ease. East. It's East. It's East. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, grinding only takes a few minutes in that. Also, later East games are a lot better about pacing shit out, so you don't really need to grind most of the time. Or they have ways to keep you engaged and not notice the grind. I'm paused on disc for Lost Odyssey still. Because I need to have to do a bunch of side quests, but also I need to do a bunch of grinding. There is so much to do in disc 4 of that. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I got Kyle, because the entire game opens up. My strategy is when I sit down to play it, just open up a guide and be like, okay, tell me where to go. <laughs> yeah. There's no soul strike from White Soft Jewel, his dad having food poisoning from both ends. At one point, he just screamed out, help me, Jesus. Yes. Same thing happened to me after those games. I had food poisoning, uh, like really bad food poisoning once when I was in Serbia, and uh, I had a guest from abroad, and we ordered food from a place that I had ordered food from, like a Chinese place, multiple times, and we both got food poisoning from that. Like, I felt like I was gonna die. I I was just. I was not in a good spot. Uh, I, I, I spent most of the day in the bathroom. Um, and I left a negative review saying, uh, yeah, I used to buy from this place, but then I got food poisoning and I'm never buying from here again. Like, I literally lost two days of my, like, vacation. Yep. I mean, I've mentioned and my... Th hmm? Go on. And, th and then they deleted the review. Yeah, that's scans. I've mentioned my IHOP curse before. It's weird. For, for reference, for those who don't know, my IHOP curse is every time I've been to an IHOP, someone has walked away with food poisoning. Not necessarily me, and I've been to IHOPs in different states as well. But someone has walked away with food poisoning. So you're saying that I should never go to an IHOP with you? Uh, yeah, with me at least. I, I, I know Necro's had nothing but good times with IHOP. But in my case, it only goes poorly. Yeah, when Necro was here last time, she got food poisoning. Um, although I kind of told her you, kept, you were asking for it, uh, so I hope she's learned her lesson to not eat shrimp pizza after it was uh out overnight okay yeah that's seafood out overnight is a big new new nope you don't touch that shit i actually thought it was a very cute by the way when i was visiting lolo and we ordered some sandwiches and it was like like just like standard issue like takeout sandwiches and we left a sound i left my sandwich for four hours and i was about to like eat it like the rest of it, I was like, oh no, that was out for four hours, don't touch it. I wouldn't trust that. Like, oh, okay, are sandwiches that dangerous in the US? No, uh, I do know that Lolo is very wary of food that's been out for too long, though. No, that's fine. I was I was in Lolo's house and home, so we operated by Lolo's house and home. Goes. I mean, I ain't gonna judge Lolo for it. Everyone's got no. their own things and their own experiences. For me, it depends entirely on what the food is. Like, seafood out overnight? No, that's a no, bad one. No, no. I would... Any seafood that's out for, like, out of the fridge for more than, like, 90 minutes, I would never touch. Over two hours on here is no go. Yeah, see, that's, like... A bit too cautious for my taste, but I can get that. I, I like, understand the place it comes from, yeah. It comes from I don't want to die. Well, I don't think you're gonna die, I don't want to get food poisoning. Or I want to be sick.
but also I, I come from a family that like really hates food waste. So like my mom is willing to keep shit way past when it it's its best by date is. Oh, you didn't freeze the that. That's fun. What was that? You have a freezing meter here. Oh fuck you me! To, you can freeze to that. Christ, this game just never stops with its bullshit. Yeah, I don't think the infant money is gonna help you with that. This is unusual. Why is the door frozen? I've got to raise the temperature, or else we'll be frozen meat before we reach Rat's place. Okay, I'm glad that at least didn't do the thing of... I'm, I'm sad the napalm launcher doesn't warm me up. Same. Oh You're no. About to die. Oh no. Oh, I am so fucked. I don't think the hass is gonna help you. Yeah. Warm room key? Okay, we have the key to the warm room. Oh, the hassie might help you if you drink it at the time, because now you're losing health. Yeah, you know what? I'm willing to I'm willing to be brave. The the hassy drinking should come out fast enough that I should be safe. My uh, question is, where is the warm room? Oh, uh, it's way back. I think I get the loop they're trying to go for here, and I hate it, so I'm not going to respect it. Well, here, you can use that to heat yourself up. Here. Yeah, it was a ways back, as I said before. Because I, I guess the idea is that you're going to be doing a constant back and forth. Yeah, okay, so the way melee combat works for this dude is super weird and awkward. Basically, if you hammer the button too fast, he just does this constant, like, jab. I think, but if you pace it out, uh, the pacing, though, is weird. He will do a proper combo, but if you don't pace it out right, he'll just keep jabbing anyway. My point is his combos are nonsense. Uh, and I, I have no consistent way of doing them. I mean, just like real life. You're afraid doing a combo in real life. No, but that's because my combo strings are set up wrong. I wasn't lucky enough to be born with an infinite. No, that's fine, infinites are okay if they're hard to do. That's what all the Doom players say. Well, now that you have the heater, you're no longer in a rush, at least. Yeah, I just wish he'd stop breathing. No. This is not an ASMR stream. No. I'm gonna do a video of video game breathing sounds. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. What's Andy's finisher? This is a question for Corpus specifically. I don't know, but I know that Envy could 100% Raging Demon a motherfucker. I even have fan art of uh, me doing a raging demon that somebody did for some reason. I don't know. <gasps> we found the warm room. 
Yeah. Yeah. The second clip is that, that about combos. It was clipped and sent to scrub quotes. Finally, some exposure. Freezer I think I had like. System. Clio pump rotation, 6,500 oh, RPM. Freezer mode has been engaged. Would you like to see the instruction? If you would like to change the temperature in the freezer, adjust the Clio pump rotation rate in the freezer control center. 0 to 4,999 RPM low rotation mode. This is defrosting mode. The temperature in the freezer will be Thank increasing. you, Lonnie Manella. 5,000 to 5,999 RPM freezing mode. I appreciate that it's normal. all the same voice actors they had for 6, fucking Illbleed. 9, RPM freezing well, mode. I should say, I this appreciate Illbleed had the same voice actors from this. Avoid but I will also never do Illbleed. Damn. I wanted to do Illbleed, but then I was reminded that it has a constant fucking heartbeat noise, and I, I hate that. Hey, I was gonna say, um, I had like two tweets I made get picked up by Scrub Pulse, but not because of what I said, but because of what I screenshotted. That was very funny. Yeah, I, I appreciate the Scrub to Quotes, uh, Twitter. I feel like it gets a little judgy at times, but otherwise, quite like it. Yeah, one of the ones that I got that screen cap was. I think the fav my favorite rage mail I've ever gotten. Uh, and it was back in the PS3 era. Um, and playing Blaze Blue, and it was a set I played with somebody in the arcade lobby for like 40 minutes. Like they kept asking for rematches. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll play. I don't mind. Only the saltiest we runbacks. Then we were done. I sent GG. And they responded with like, that's not GG, those were the worst fucking games, you're one of the worst fucking hackermans I've ever played against, I fucking hated it, you're fucking laggy, piece of shit parry, they just like sent this massive, super angry mail, and I was like, you know, I can respond with this in kind, but fuck it, I just sent them like a, a message that was all... Oh, I'm sorry you felt, felt that way. Uh, I thought you were yeah. enjoying yourself because you kept asking for a rematch. I hope uh, the next sets you have Heating are more enjoyable. Key. And then they responded the with, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. To activate <laughs> express mode. Keys for keys, baby. I'd love to see it. There's also, man, I still remember fucking Brandon Heat, who played every Arc System Works fighter in Europe on console, and how everybody knew this one person because he was a dumb shit that insulted everybody all the time. That's fucking great. But yeah, also. Yeah, like, what? Sorry, what? No. No, 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 go ahead. I was, I was... No, I was saying, like, I got, like, a bunch of rage notes from him as well. Uh, I think one of them definitely ended up with scrub boards. Yeah, it, it doesn't help that you play Hakumen, which a Hakumen played right makes people very, very angry. Well, it made them especially angry because that was not the uh, consensus on the correct way to play Hakumen. Because most people played him very combo heavy, so if you played him with parries, at least back then, people were like, you're playing him wrong. But then if they lose to you playing a character wrong, they get even more angry. Man, now I'm just reminded of this story. Oh, oh. oh. You may want to kill the enemy. I will shoot it until it dies. Oh, it's freezing you. The story from Lolo about uh, his time playing T Hawk when he was younger with a friend of his, and how Lolo, like everything he does, uh, played T Hawk like a giant asshole. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah. 
Yeah, focus on the end. That's the important part. Okay, sorry. Lolo plays T-Hawk like a giant asshole, and so Lolo would play regularly with a friend of his, uh, and it's great because that friend went on to play at a tournament, uh, but because Lolo basically trained them wrong to fight T-Hawk, they fought an actual T-Hawk player and lost because they got fucking their ass beat. Yeah, I have, um... One common thing that I have had back in the day, when people would see me either play Hakuman or footage of me playing Hakuman or see me at a tournament, like they'd come over, watch my, like after seeing my magic, like approach me and be like, yeah, you're playing wrong, you're spamming parries too much. I'm like, oh, okay, well, do you want to do some matches? So I can, like, like learn how not to spam? I'm like, sure. And then we'd play. Oh, it's now getting too hot, really? Okay. Because mm -hmm. we set it to defrost mode. Oh my fucking god. Defrost doesn't mean you're gonna melt. Um, because you're not made of ice. But anyway, I would say like, oh, do you wanna play? And we play, and then... Uh, they wouldn't be able to handle how I play, and then they respond with things like, I don't know what you're doing, or how to counter it, but it shouldn't be working. The temperature too high. Let's get out of here. Okay. Well, now the door should be defrosted, right? A whole yeah. bunch of them. Yeah. 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 A magazine of arrows. Yeah, we've been getting those. That doesn't look like a magazine to me. Looks like a clip of arrows. You know what? I have shit to spare. Let's see the burger eating animation so we can judge him more. Yes. He took I a nibble. Him. I hope he dies. I hope he dies. Oh, I'm so full. Oh, that the burger was so big and so delicious. And he, he took one bite. Oh, I'm so full. His eyes were bigger than his mouth. His stomach. I I always fuck. <laughs> Still waking up. <laughs> your eyes are as empty as your mouth. His eyes are bigger than his stomach is the phrase, but also, fuck, I don't care. I mean, in anime, aren't the most eyes bigger than the mouth? Most animes, yes. I believe there was a pen and paper anime inspired system called Big Eyes All Mouth. I love my sweet, sweet lasers. Ah. Fucking dick move. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you can't Oh swim. no, they're swimming controls. He swims like Lupin. Why do you not come up for air, you dumb motherfucker? Okay. This is bizarre. What is? Uh, I'll explain the swimming controls in a minute, but you need to understand that I need cheap and best followers.
Yeah, apparently, Ira. But, uh, yeah, no. So basically, the way it works is that you need to hit... Okay, so the way I have things mapped on my controller, I want to mention. My very legit... What was that? No, 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 no. Fuck Sorry, off. I, I, was, I was reporting the bot. What happened? Uh, so the way some controls work is... Oh, fuck me. It is this constant fight with gravity? Where basically, if I let go of the buttons, he will start sinking. So I need to, oh my god, fuck off. Constantly hit the B button on my controller to get him to surface. But the problem is that also slows him down significantly when swimming, so I need to hit X to make him sink. And it is some of the worst controls I've ever had the un misfortune of, of using when swimming in a game. Was swimming this bad in, like, Tomb Raider? No. It felt bad. Because I remember it being this bad, yeah. Also, to swim, you need to basically be rapidly hammering the button. You can't just, like, not. Tarantino ban, wrong, immediate ban. I don't even know. I guess that's like a new phrasing because they stopped using the uh, by followers default text. Yeah. I could blacklist it, but ultimately I don't really care that much. No, you should blacklist more important words like that. I did. It's so. I, I wonder how many people have tried using the Kappa emote and been confused on my channel why it didn't work. Because I forget that emo exists specifically because I have it banned. But also, I think it's fallen out of use because now when most people post their fucking Kappa emotes. Yeah, I, I have a secret blacklist. I, I, it's not something I feel for fun to fuck with people. Ow. Oh, fuck what? this! What, what even is this thing? Like a sea bull? I don't think... Oh, no. Wrestling does work. Okay. I was gonna say I don't think the wrestling is working. Uh, I just, I need dogs because he's, uh, beefier. Uh, and I need someone to tank hits while I got into the main room because this game's a fucking asshole. Okay, so it can only be hurt from the head. Fuck that. The monster was holding something. The meat wow, room key. Me. Oh my god, I hate this. Is this literally the entire game? Is the entire game just like, use key, go here, get key? Yeah. As time goes on, I feel less and less bad about uh, all that money I got by uh, trading stocks. Break that meat, you punch it.
Uh, he doesn't have the um, uh, armor resistant fucking plastic around it. Okay, so like I need to drink my small hassy. <laughs> Do you want to uh, heal the other character in case it's switched? I was going to. It just takes time to drink the hassy. Yes. This guy gets a tall boy. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been trying to make a pun with hassy, but the only word that keeps coming to mind is hasty, which is written similarly, but isn't pronounced similarly, so that joke just doesn't fucking work. Sounds like you're having a bit of a hassle. Damn. I even set you up for that. You did, it was perfect. Yeah, no, good job. I, I, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I have I have nothing left to teach you. I learned from the master. Yes! <laughs> Which is actually my grandfather. Oh, uh, your, uh, your grandfather was a punsmith. Oh dear lord, did he love making puns. <gasps> Sandwich! Okay, it looks like like an egg egg one. I don't know what's in yeah. the middle though. Sorry, can you buy a sandwich? So the way it approaches you, like I feel like the sandwich is coming towards you with the intent to kill you. No, it has the vibes of uh that one fucking oh god, um What's what's the so uh, what's the fucking artist? Jamiroquai song. Virtual insanity oh. when he's sliding across the room. You know, I actually do not get that reference, so I don't know. I, but I believe you. It's because basically, for virtual insanity, they have the illusion of him like sliding across the floor at you with his hand out. And it's just like it's the same angle and everything. It's a good music video. Elliot, can you hear me? No. Yes. Look, I'm sorry I got distracted. We're finally out of the laser and about to enter Rat's place. Everything okay up there? It is, Malik. Can you hold on a sec? Go ahead. Janine. I don't think she likes you. That snotty little brat. No better mother is exactly like her. What the fuck You're does that mean? Mood. Wow. Yeah, no, it's it's. Oh. Hmm? No, go ahead, but. Yeah, it's it's very impressive the way they do it because initially what they wanted to do was like a giant sort of like conveyor belt for the illusion, but it was way too costly. So instead, they just have the entire move, like the walls of the room move. And it creates this very strong illusion of, of him basically just sliding across the room constantly. It's really neat. Also, I don't know if Anora said this uh, intentionally to annoy me, I'm gonna assume not, but I can't believe you're related to Geo. <laughs> Gary! Oh. Gary! Child, what is wrong with your hands? But go on. Well, I remember, so, when I got into the, like, essay circle, as in, like, talk to people from the essay circle, like, I had been doing puns my entire life. And, like, when I did puns, everybody was like, wow, look at G up here. I'm like, what? No, G up doesn't have a monopoly on online puns, thank you very fucking much. Yeah, it's no, uh, no, it's 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 fine, Anora. I didn't assume you were you did, because um, I'm not sure. I told I don't know. I told the story really somewhere, but I don't think I told them this channel. Uh, but it's just like very like annoying because I'm like like I I like puns. I've been doing puns my entire life, and then people come in and go like, "Wow, you're you're like this other more popular dude." They totally like they like, rip them off. I'm like, no, no, actually, there can be two people in the world with puns. I, I'm I'm. Also kind of not a huge fan of just, like, mentioning other streamers who are completely unrelated. Especially because, like, I haven't watched Geop in, let's say, almost a decade. Less than that, but, like, at least, at least seven years. Why do 
I supposed to do here? Well, she gave you a token. I think yeah, that was the use. use. Is there like a crane machine or something there? Because she was crying for something. Is it this? And luckily, nobody's mentioned off. Uh, mentioned a streamer who pisses me off, but like, I. I sometimes hear a reference in my vicinity. They were thinking of the same person, but thankfully it's very easy to ignore. Yeah. So what does the child do if you talk to her again? Okay, that's what's happening. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to play this. Also, I can't see it! Can you use like a gun instead of a bomb them? Yeah, I... You know what? I know what to do. I don't think the Gatling gun is gonna... Can't. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, do you just have like a normal ass fucking pistol? I could do that. Like, but that's doesn't, boring. Doesn't, El doesn't Elio just have like a fucking Glock or some shit? No, okay. So the issue here isn't actually my weapons, it's aiming. There it is, you got it. Yeah, I had to break all the big gaily. Please, that is bisexual colors, thank Merry you. Christmas. Gaily! I love you. Thank you. Where are your parents? I don't know. Let me look around. Stay here with Gaily. Good looking. What? I'll give you a Christmas present. It's okay, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Present. This is a key card. Hold on. Maybe you need to find the parents first. Yes. I think someone just got stuck in the sewer outside my window. No, that's funny. I'm screaming. What is what is she doing? What is the gift? I almost kind of want you to check the guide to see what the fucking gift is. Let's check. So go back, so go to the child, 
that that helps you figure this out that you're you play Sierra game you should know yeah. bullshit when you see it. Oh. I, I get it. I got a free thing. Nice. All I had to do was invade the women's restroom. I mean, that's usually where the good shit is in survival horror games. Yeah, go back to the game club. Yeah, I need to figure out the direction I'm going in. Yes. Wait a sec, I need I need a hassy because I hate how slow you move at two thirds health. Yeah, speedrunners hate this damage threshold. I mean it is a weird damage threshold. Okay. It is. Okay, so talk to her? Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I I would not have figured this out. Yeah, I if she like was a bit more direct about it would have been nice. Man, I love that I have all these high spec weapons and none of them feel that much more powerful than my other shit. It might not even be high spec, maybe that's how much money you're expected to fucking have eventually. Okay, but let's go Ooh. to Yeah. I, I need I need to see the full thing. I can't see the full thing because this fucking game. Omega Club Pink Girl. Yep. Love, love. I could go for some shit. Barber, Kami, Kami something. Kami Yui. Hasn't that, like, fairy been doing anything? Or gonna fly next to you? No. Okay. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. The love of God game. Bait and tackle. I think I say I should bring back Hassie. Hassie is good and cool. We just put it into the new Jetson radio game or something. Okay, I need to check something. Damn. You cannot, in fact, fall in the water and drown. Real oversight. I appreciate that, like, all the weapons feel the same and that they all feel like garbage. That one looks more garbage than usual. Yeah, it's kind of impressively bad. Would that kind of wind up at your, like, one shot? It probably does. Uh, that said the wind up in this game will get you killed. I'll get wound up just watching this game. 
kind of level with you. This is this is all garbage. I'm kind of impressed at how bad this is. Okay. One has to go. Blue Singer, Carrier, Deep Fear. What, what, what is the question here? One has to go. Like, like, which of these is the worst? Uh, you know what? Blue Stinger. You think Blue Stinger is worse than Carrier? Carrier was boring, but at least it felt fine to play. Is this interesting but bad to play, or is it uninteresting and bad to play? I have not found anything interesting enough to make I'd say the me only part of care. I think the only interesting thing about this game is the uh, environmental design. I kind of like all the branding and decorations and stuff. I think that part's cool. That's what it. Uh, no, Deep Fear does not have Peepo. Uh, Deep Fear did have Mookie, though. Peace. Rest in peace, Mookie. I think um, Deep Fear is a decent runner-up for like Resident Evil clones. Like if you look at the big games, you know, like oh, okay, there's Silent Hill, and then there's Parasite Eve, like quote unquote. Well, I know that's debatable, but people still consider it a horror game. But um. Like, I feel like Deep Fear is a close fourth place. Yeah, Deep Are Fear was fine. Alive? Good timing, it was Janine. We just perfectly acceptable. Place. We'll call you back in five. Which is impressive got for this it, time got because got a lot of a lot of fucking Resi clones were really fucking garbage, as we've seen, uh, time and time again. Okay, I think I know the answer to this one, but I'm gonna ask: of this or Martian Gothic? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, okay, I, I'm gonna take a stance here. I cannot say for certain because I have not played Martian Gothic, so I do not know how it feels. But at least Martian Gothic is interesting in the way that it's bad. I do agree with that. Uh, Deep Fear is the one with good music. Um, I think also Carrier, I think both Carrier and Deep Fear have good music because of the Deep Fear also had like low-key good music and Carrier had noticeably good music because everything else was so bad. Noticeably good music, but the, the problem was it was too afraid to play it that often. Yeah. <laughs> what is the point? The point is the large hassy. The large hassy. Like, this is clearly special, right? But, like, I can't interact with it. You yeah, know, I think Martian Gothic is a genuinely interesting game. It's very bad, though. Is, is like, in terms of actual gameplay. Because the, the infinitely spawning zombies are absolutely there to pad out the game. An ATM machine? Um, I, I don't know why I keep going back to this number. I love, I love that I can steal someone's ATM card, but I also need to know their pin. That's just like real life. Yeah, it's annoying. Also like real life. My brain is so big. Thanks, Sedin. Have a good night. Have a good night. I 
I appreciate this game's incredible ability to constantly make me feel lost, but never feel like it's my own fault. Like, it's very bad at leading you in a direction. I think something in this game is missing, which for like a res resort entertainment island, you'd expect us to have a lot of maps. Like, these aren't meant to be that confusing to navigate. Well, it it's supposed to be a research facility, I think, but like... Oh, okay. But well, it's like a mark. <sighs> I, I want to take a, a second. Yeah, I, I want to take a second to appreciate that he has to do this weird sweep with the Gatling gun. Yep. So cool. Gatling gun. Hashtag Gatling gun sweep. Does the guide say anything about the bar? Once again, at an absolute loss of what to do. I found Elliot's passcode for his ATM card, at least. It's not worth it, it's 20 bucks. How much is it? $20. Oh my god, fuck that. Yeah, that's okay, I get it. Because the joke on the card is it says it pays out the 25th of every uh, every month, and today is the 24th. That's actually a good joke. I would argue it would be a good joke if this game didn't expect you to collect so much fucking money. Inside the bar you will see a picture of a rack of billiard balls, and there is a hat so long behind the bar near the other side. With a glowing ball in the center. The glowing ball is a trigger button that needs to be pushed in order to open the secret entrance around the yard. Unfortunately, it is too high for you to reach from the floor. Push the pool table against the wall where the pressure is on because it's so it's quickly on the roof. I love I as soon as I read that I was just like, okay, here comes the sigh. Hey amigo, how's it going? I wouldn't say hello. Oh, this is bad. Feeling sassy? Grab a hat. The Gatling gun is you. too long, which is very funny. Well, that's what she said. Hey. hey. So basically, oh. when something is too close to me and I go to fire the Gatling gun, it fires through them. Also, I, I appreciate this game seems to be aware of its jank controls, because when you first enter an area, you cannot exit it immediately. Which is great, because half the time my character's facing the wrong direction and I end up moving in towards that door anyway. Are you still alive? Good timing, Janine. We just arrived at Rat's place. We'll call you back in five. Got it, tough guy. Got it, tough guy. Is, is she supposed to be warming up to him? I, I don't know. Because he has done nothing to earn it. You know, I would agree, I don't feel like we've done anything in this game so far. Like, we're making progress, but I don't think we've actually done anything. We also haven't learned anything. Also, this is a place called Dinosaur Island, and I haven't seen a single dinosaur. It is so frustrating. Honestly, also unfair. There, I've corrected it. Okay, I, I hit the button. 
Well, there's a, there's stairs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I, it would have been nice if it played like an animation or something. <laughs> to tell you what happened, damn, look at, look at this. Get low, this guy. You won't want any stuff to be telegraphed. I know, I'm such a, such a kidder. Dogs, Do you want the yellow paint on the here. stairs, too? Uh, ready to pay off your debt? Dang, he's alive! I was hoping you'd be dead so that I'd be debt-free. That's too bad. Most of my clients are dead. Dogs, get to the point. Who's he? Oh, no. Are we going to have to pay off Dogs' Young debt? Who is as lost as us. I need your help. If you're looking for a weapon, forget about it. I need a lab ID. Check the wine rack, the one with all the tabs. You just might find one. Thanks. It's gonna cost you. Remember, you can't die until you pay off your tab. Okay. Can we kill this guy though? Nobody will know. Yeah, we could just leave down here open. Uh, okay, so is it like next to him where you have to like examine the pick of the item? Because I think that's supposed to be like a coil. <laughs> what? Okay. I hate their walking and climbing animations so much. No, it's, it's good. I hate their legs. Their legs are terrible. I, I guess that was it. I mean, you got three keys. It's me. We met with rats. He's still alive. A rat good. fuck. Now get back here at once. Sure, Han. I'm sorry, did you just call her Han? Yeah, he did. <sighs> I like it fucking you know sucks. You know what the worst part about this is? What? We're gonna play this, and then we're gonna be away for a month, and this is gonna be on pause, and we're gonna come back, and we're not gonna remember anything, and we're gonna be miserable because we're playing this again. Yeah, I, I have an idea of at least one game I want to play in the interim. I probably won't finish it, because uh, the game... Shots really bad. Yeah. But I want to show it off, please. Because uh, a very, very famous uh, Fuso guy, otherwise known as Shit Game. Oh, I don't know which one. Got a translation one. last night. Yep, yep, that thing. I think it did. Thanks for the follow, Dingoes. Uh, called Thanks Ancient Roman. Uh, it's it's a real real competitor for Final Fantasy. Ancient Roman Council. Damn. Man, what are you trying to show me? Sorry, <laughs> right, fish poison? Yeah, it's the poison of the fish. You, you, you want to talk about it, bro? No? Okay. Hello, dingoes. Uh... Yeah, what, what do you want from me, game? What, why do I need the fish poison? Just my poor ass from saying so much. It's usually the two all remark where my rear relents. What is the point of the fish poison? It's to poison the fish for the god. You're right, I get that. What if I just threw it in the ocean? 
Also, I am surprised at this game's restraint of not having that man talk. Yeah, I don't know why that man doesn't talk. Maybe you need to poison his fish so he yes. can talk to you. Because then Maybe. he doesn't know anything to fish. I would believe that's a solution. It absolutely sounds like something this game would do. I mean, you could try it. No, because all what? item interactions in this are automatic, and I was hammering the button and it didn't seem to be doing anything. Can you open the fish poison to see what it says, at least? It poisons fish. It affects no other plants or animals, only fish. Well, it specifically says it's called Piranha Poison, so it's probably to get past something that you haven't seen yet, which is presumably a pool of Piranha. Yeah, I, I get that. I just... I, I don't... Wait! Okay, I need a better angle on this. I need to see this fucking thing in action. What the fuck shotgun is this? Not a particularly good one. Oh. How far behind is that? I have one way of checking. <sighs> oh god. I I know I know where it left off. I, I, Is it before the bar? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do that and save and just not think about this game for a month. Save and cry. Game is very stingy with its safe spots. This is this is the real way to play the game. But your final ranking to play time is gonna be terrible. I don't even know if this does rankings. You know what? I don't care. See, the, the real fun part here is the actual gameplay challenge of can Torpo get in? And I, you can only turn off the speed up. I could. It means you're giving up and the game wins ultimately, but you can still do it. Can I solve the labyrinth? And even sped up, this takes forever. Okay, where am I? This music is so fucking monotonous. I can't get over how tedious this music is. Wait. Oh my fucking god. Wow. What's even here? That was all the items I picked up through it. Oh. oh okay. Oh, I thought that was an enemy when she spawned in. She hasn't done anything. I don't understand her purpose in the narrative. So I think our next plot objective is just to go back. But I, I really don't care.
Oh my god! Gotcha. Can I even reach them? Might need the sumo. See, all I'm learning is that the best weapon is the Gatling gun. Unless you're really close. Unless you're really close. <laughs> God, this game, it just sucks. Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> See, with all the, like, passive jokes, you know, people have been making yes. in general, I was like, oh, Blue Stinger must be pretty good if everybody references Hassy. Oh. I'm guessing it was some sort of fucking YouTuber or something who played it, and that's why everyone references it. Yeah. Yeah. We did steal this man's hot dog, though, which is pretty fucked up. Yeah, fuck him. He maybe should have defended it. Would you defend your hot dog to the death? Yes. You know what? I respect that. Man, without the need for money, it really hammers home how awful and shallow the combat feels. <laughs> Oh my fucking god though, why does everything just hit the way it does and why is it just so hard to do anything? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a uh, Proto Souls like from From Software. That's where they got their best ideas. Clearly. Also, this place is designed by assholes. Man, you're going all the way back here to save. There was no safe point up there. Oh, is that what the poison was? Yeah, apparently oh, there okay. are a bunch of piranhas in the water. Well, no longer. Good job. The, the fucking swimming is so bad in this. Okay, I have no clue how I'm supposed to get up. Side. Yeah, I, I think I gotta swim through that tunnel. Yeah. Except swimming controls in this are so bad. It's like they're weirdly proud of a mechanic that feels like shit. Ah, so that's a big ass fish. I wish I knew where a safe spot was. I think there was one 
Maybe a ways back, but like, man, this is really, really bad at pacing them out. Yeah. Yeah. And they really want me using that shotgun. Sorry, I had to check some. Mm hmm. <sighs> yeah. 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 Oh, so they. Yeah, okay. Well, no, they didn't expect me to buy it. There was the ladies' restroom railgun, which is a sequence of words I wasn't expecting to say. So, you know what? Good on this game. Surprises at every turn. Also, I, I just want to mention, chat, I can't hold the swim button. I need to tap it. I'm, I'm not allowed to just fucking swim. Do you have to tap it to a rhythm, or do you just have to, like, mash it? I, I've been mashing it. A, a slow mash, but still a mash. My, my favorite part is needing to mash to stay above water. Because I was wrong before about the descent button. There is no descent button. He just naturally descends. Please, game, please. I am on my hands and knees begging. You unlock it. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Oh, well, we got our shortcut back. Just, I just want a save spot game. I just don't know where you've hidden it from me. Because I think we need to go back to the shuttle port and ride the shuttle, and I think on the way there is a save room. I just, I just want to save. It's insane that that's the closest one. That room. There, I can save. Success. We did it. Prize. Yeah. But at what cost? Yep, nope, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay. I I am shocked that I did not expect this to be worse than carrier. Yeah. Also, to be sure. Man, I remember when we played Hard Edge. What a good game. Hard Edge was great. I mean, I enjoyed Deep Fear as well. For, for all its problems, I thought it was pretty okay. Nope. I liked Deep Fear. I was entertained. This is bad, though. This is really bad. This is, this, I, don't, I think there's a reason this is contained for, to the damn Dreamcast fucking trap there forever but either way never put it back i i hope y'all had fun i hope I, I i hope i hope y'all had fun uh i had fun and check out my good buddy nb but in the meantime i hope y'all have a good rest of your day however much that might be yep uh see you all in a month i guess later y'all